Hey, Jeremy here. Today we're going to talk about digital mood boards. What is a mood board? A mood board is a curated collage of images, photography, designs, or illustrations that might include materials, textures, color palettes, and descriptive words. This visual storytelling tool is used by artists and designers alike to illustrate the idea they are looking to actualize. The intent is to help you define your project's style or concept and to help communicate your vision to others. Step 1. Identify your target. Define what your theme is and or who your demographic is. If you are developing a mood board for a particular person or lifestyle brand, what type of objects and things would that individual surround themselves with? Step 2. Collect more images than expected. Collect high-resolution imagery for your theme and or demographic. The more imagery you collect, the better. You can always edit and curate your final choices at a later date. Step 3. Curate the type and amount of images. As you start to narrow down your image choices, you want to edit your selection to a variety of image types. You do not need two types of the same redundant image. All you need is one perfect specimen of that one type. Types include, but are not limited to, emotive images. This type of image communicates a feeling, and often of a person communicating an emotion through body language, gesture, or dramatic lighting. A textural image. This type of image Often a detail image communicates a haptic sense, the feel, hand, and experience of a surface. Product images. This type of image is an object sold to meet the customer's need. This can be a handcrafted item or a manufactured object. I recommend two different types of products, a vehicle, home goods, electronics, etc. Art image. This type of image is about creative expression and imagination. An example would be painting, sculpture, installation, or performance. A fashion image. This type of image relates to the style of dress and ornament. Sometimes this is a stand-in for an emotive image depending on your direction. This type of image can also reference clothing, footwear, accessories, hair, and makeup. Architectural image. This type of image relates to a building and or structure, providing a sense of place and support for all types of human activity. A nature image. This type of image includes plants, animals, landscape, and products of the earth, atmosphere, geology, and ecosystems. Step 4. Organize and compose images. The visual layout and composition of the mood board is just as important as the image itself. Some of your images can lead your eye toward a specific direction. For example, if a figure within a photograph is facing left, you'll want to place it to the right side of your mood board direct, to direct your attention back to the center of the layout. This logic relates to all imagery. Does the theme speak to a more static or organic layout, layered or singular placement? Step 5. A color palette. Observe the color relationships shared between your mood board images. Identify the dominant colors and accent colors. Develop a color palette of somewhere between 7 to 12 colors. Make sure that your color choices have the potential to create contrast between the hue, complementary opposites, the value, light and dark, and saturation, bright to dull. You want to have a range of colors that play well together. Do you have a range of highlights, midtones, and shadows? Do you have neutrals? Step six, organize and compose color swatches. The visual layout and or color sequence of swatches are important to the mood board's composition. 
The typical shape of a digital color swatch is a square, long rectangle, or circle. Some designers integrate color into the ground or graphic elements on a mood board. Does your theme speak to a more organized, ordered, or organic singular placement?